What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and welcome to our product spotlight for the PackTalk Bluetooth Communicator from Cardo. All right guys, so today we are talking about the Pack Talk from Cardo. Now Cardo, these guys have been around a long time. In fact, they pioneered the first motorcycle specific Bluetooth comms unit and the Pack Talk is gonna be the flagship in their lineup. Now, if you're a first time shopper for a Bluetooth communicator and you're asking yourself the question, is it worth the investment or what will you benefit from these? Well, think of it this way. It's gonna be a self entertainment system. You're gonna be able to stream music via Bluetooth. You're gonna be able to get GPS voice commands as you ride. It's also gonna allow you to talk to other riders in a group while you're out riding. So they definitely will elevate your riding experience. Now the Pack Talk is gonna have all those features and more. So what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna walk through and I'm gonna point out the key features and benefits that the Pack Talk has. So by the end of this video, you will have a very good idea if this is gonna be the unit that you need to buy. So if you do have any questions throughout this video at any point, just make sure you comment those below and we will get your questions answered. Now it is time for you to sit back, relax, and let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about the unit itself. Now I've got one here in my hand. I've also got one installed here on the Sarai XD4. Now the unit itself is very streamlined. I like the design of it, very compact. Now right off the bat, one of my favorite things about this, IP rating of 67, which means that this unit is dust proof and it is also waterproof. So props to Cardo for doing that. Now here on the front, you're gonna have three main buttons that are gonna control your music, your phone, and also your pairing. And then you are gonna have this roller wheel here, here that does click so you can feel it clicking. Nice thing about these buttons is that they all have tabs on them. So if we've gone out and we've used these, we've tested them, we've ran it through the paces, no complaints from any of the riders not being able to find these buttons even when they have a thick leather glove on. Now down here on the bottom, this is gonna be your port for your micro USB. Again, that's where you're gonna plug in the charge using the wall charger that comes included. And also that's where you're gonna get your firmware updates. It's very important guys, with any Bluetooth comms unit, you always wanna make sure you have the latest firmware updates to make sure you're getting the latest and greatest from your manufacturer. Now up here at the top, the last thing I'll show you, that's your flip up antenna. Again, that's gonna help extend the range when you are talking to other riders. So that is the unit itself. Again, compact, streamlined, IP rating of 67. So moving on, now we're gonna talk about battery life and then we'll get into the range. Now this is gonna be Bluetooth 4.0 and that 4.0 really helps optimize your battery life. So you're gonna get up to 13 hours of talk time and you're also gonna have a week of standby. It's gonna charge up in about two to three hours again using that micro USB port. Now when it comes to range, now Cardo was saying you're gonna get a mile unit to unit and up to five miles using their multi-hop technology in a group situation. Now I'm gonna talk more about that multi-hop technology here in just a bit, but I will point out, when it comes to a unit to unit in that mile of range, that's gonna be in a perfect situation where it's a long stretch of highway and there's nothing that's blocking the line of sight from you and the other rider. Now from our experience, because we have used these on multiple rides, what we have found is that when you bring mountains and trees into the picture, when any of those things are blocking your line of sight, just keep in mind that your range is gonna be shortened in those situations. Situations. But overall, we've been very happy with the communication that we've had. Now let's talk about music. Now as you'd expect, yes, you're gonna be able to stream music via Bluetooth from your smartphone or your Bluetooth capable MP3 player. You're also gonna have FM radio stations that are gonna be programmable on here as well. Now another great feature about it is it's also gonna have music sharing. So if you do ride two up, you'll be able to listen and share the same music with the passenger on your bike. Now how you control it? Well, Cardo's gonna give you three different options here. You're gonna be able to use the buttons here on the outside to control it. You're also gonna have voice commands. So that's gonna allow you to speak in your mic Microphone. You can skip forward, skip back, pause your music, and also browse between your radio stations. And the third method is you can use the Cardo Smart Set app, or you can just use your smartphone to browse your music. A lot of guys, they like to take their smartphones, put on a handlebar mount, and see everything that is going on right there in front of them. Now, how you listen to your music? Couple ways that Cardo allows you to do that. Coming included with every pack talk, you are gonna have the speakers that are gonna connect. These you would route through your helmet and they would go in your speaker pockets in your helmet. Now we've used these in our opinion, they work great, great sound quality. Again, if your helmet doesn't have speaker cutouts, they are thin enough that you should be okay, but in any situation, if you don't like having those in there, they give you another option as well, and this is something that I love that Cardo's doing. You have the option to run your own custom earbuds. So I've actually got one of the clamps out here, coming included, you're gonna have this three and a half millimeter jack, this is where you just plug in your custom earbuds and that will allow you to do that. So a couple different options there on how you're gonna listen to your music. Now the last feature I do wanna touch on, this is one of our favorites, is parallel audio streaming. So what that means is it allows you to actually listen to music in the background while you're either talking to another rider 
or in a group conversation. Now what's nice is you can go into that Cardo Smart Set app and you can customize it. You can go in there and you can, you can adjust the volumes so you can either have the music louder or you can have the person, you can have their voice being louder. It just comes down to writer preference but again that Smart Set app makes it very easy to configure. Now let's move on and let's talk about communication. Now this is going to be where the Pack Talk is really going to separate itself from the rest of the field. You're going to have two different modes with the Pack Talk. You're going to have Bluetooth mode and DMC. Now DMC, that stands for Dynamic Meshwork Communication. I'll talk about that more here in just a second. But in your traditional Bluetooth mode, you're going to have up to eight riders connected. You're going to be able to have four riders talking at the same time. Now the big downfall with Bluetooth mode, and this is what we've been seeing for years now, is that in a group riding situation, if one or more riders leave that group, you break that chain of communication, and the communication between that group is going to be disrupted. Now because of that issue, that's why Cardo developed the DMC technology, again, dynamic meshwork communication. And what it is essentially, it's a self-healing network. So take that same group, if one or more riders were to leave, the remaining riders, that group is going to self-heal, and they will still be be able to talk to each other as if those other two had never left. And the two riders that did leave, those two will be able to communicate amongst themselves and then when they all meet back up together, that network or that pack is going to self-heal itself and that whole group will then be able to talk as if nothing had ever happened. And we've actually tested this feature on our rides. It's worked very, very well for us. It was very nice to have that feature because multiple times we would have groups break away, but when we all met back up again, we would be able to communicate as if the group had never separated. Another great thing about it that we loved is at the end of our day, we would all turn our units off. We would charge them through the night. The next day when we woke up, we would simply just turn our units on. The pack would create itself automatically and we could just start our day. Now there's two more aspects that I want to touch on with DMC mode. Now the first, that's going to be DMC bridge. And what that does, that allows a group member who's not using a Cardo unit, you can bridge them in so they can be a part of that pack. And the other is you go from in standard Bluetooth mode, you can have up to eight riders connected. In DMC, you can now go up to 15 riders connected and you can have six talking at the same time. So when it comes to large group riding, the Cardo pack talk, this is definitely a game changer. So that is why you would definitely want to consider this unit if you like to ride in larger groups. Now to get these things set up and installed, it's actually very simple and Cardo's gonna give you a couple options there as well. You're gonna have your clamp mount, which is what's installed on this Arai XD4. That's very simple to do. You're just gonna slide it up between the comfort liner and the shell of the helmet. You're gonna have two wires coming off of there. One's gonna be for your microphone and the other is gonna be for your speakers. Now it's very simple, once you have that installed, this unit is just gonna snap into place very simply. Now, if you don't wanna do the clamp style, they do include an adhesive back mount as well. This just goes to the outside of the helmet. You would then slide the unit onto there. So very simple. Again, you're gonna have your speakers that come included, and you are gonna have two different mics with this system. You're gonna have a boom mic. This is gonna be great for your modular helmets or your three-quarter helmets, and you are also going to have your wired mic. So this will be the route that most guys rocking a full face helmet are gonna want to take. Both are great options. I've used both, both work extremely well. Now again, guys, remember to configure your pack talk. We, from our experience, we've always used the Smart Set app. It is very simple to do. Again, you're gonna be able to set up your groups, your packs, program your radio stations, everything you would want to do. Again, you can do it with the unit, but hands down, the easiest way is gonna be downloading that Smart Set app and use that to get going. And guys, I can't stress enough, once you've done your homework and you've decided what unit you want, definitely take the time to get to know your unit. You're gonna to wanna to use it before you go out and ride. I can promise you that will save you a lot of frustration. Now the last thing guys that I do want to touch on before I let you go is that these pack talks or any Bluetooth communicator, these things are packed full of technology. There's a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs going on. Now any device that has that much technology, you're more than likely going to experience a few glitches here and there. Now as we've been out using these, we have experienced small glitches. None of them are deal breakers, but that's really why it is so important to get to know your unit so you can work through those. But overall, we've been very happy. It is a rock solid unit. So that's the Pack Talk. Great unit remember guys you're getting that DMC technology which is a game changer for group rides amongst a ton of other awesome features so head over to our website rockymountainhtmc.com read the product page that's going to tell you everything that this thing is capable of again any thoughts comments or questions I would love to hear those so make sure you comment below I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails